Happy Wednesday to you all. We are live. Jan Ragnarud, founder of chaosmap.com. If you'd like to learn more about what we all do, head on over to chaosmap.com. And um, we basically are a um, boutique uh, ad agency. Uh, we focus obviously on ads, Facebook, Google, YouTube, etc. We also have long history in the search game, uh, search engine optimization. And I've written three books on the topic with Entrepreneur Magazine, Entrepreneur Press, I should say. And uh, I'm not here today to pitch. I'm here to welcome you another broadcast from our live studios here in Los Angeles. And uh, we're out on Facebook right now, but we're coming in on YouTube and, of course, media and marketing podcast. Always enjoy uh, having uh, listeners and viewers coming in to share in the goodness uh, here today. And once again, this is Jan. And uh, hey, why do I'm why am I sharing the Twitter stock up here? Well, today's broadcast is how to build a perfect Twitter uh, profile. And for those of you who would say, well, not interesting, exit right now. Well, you might want to just wait on uh, just a minute. Um, there's some exciting things happening in Twitter land. Always has been, right? I mean, you talk to the head of this nation, you'll feel that Twitter is the best way to communicate with his audience. Mr. Trump, love him or hate him, right? Well, um, we also know that there's things that are happening that are not all great either, right? I mean, if we look at the stock market here, you can see that uh, it actually went public in uh, 2013, uh, 14, yeah, 13. And uh, ups and downs here, as as it should be. Any stock doesn't just go straight up unless you're Berkshire Hathaway uh, or Google. But uh, hey, listen, Twitter stocks at 38.08 right now. It's uh, live feeding off of the page. Uh, we can see that it had a tumultuous 16, 17, 18 starting to rise, 19, a little bit better. The bottom line is this. We have a lot of actually searchers on our website for how to build your perfect uh, uh, Twitter profile, essentially your bio, right? Which is interesting, uh, but also it's important to note that this is useful for you to do for any and all of your social media platforms, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, you know, Pinterest, etc., YouTube, right? Uh, consistency in your brand here, and also the the messaging across those platforms. That's an important thing. We're using Twitter here today because we actually have a big old post on it out on Chaos Map. You can search that out. Uh, but um, just wanted to start out with the uh, Twitter news here and also to look at the stats from social bakers here. Monthly active users right now, 313 million based on their data. Tweets per day, 500 million. Significant traffic here. If this is not the place where you do most of your business, well then still get your profile in check, right? You wanna have that consistency for your brand, but you may not be running a lot of content through here. You may not be running a lot of ads through here. I mean, we have ad placements and targeting. Targeting is very unique for Twitter, by the way. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, take a look. If you wanna learn more, of course, head on out to chaosmap.com. But let's dig into the five different ways here to really, create a, a much more sort of a leveraged point of uh, discussion when somebody sees you out in social media land and certainly Twitter. So you have um, a limited space to get the uh, message out there, uh, but you can be original. And in fact, that's number one. Um, you see a lot of just bland bios on Twitter, right? They're uh, sort of hopelessly predictable and everyone writes the same thing. Now, that's not just true for bios. That's true for a lot of the things we see online, right? If somebody has success, everybody else copies them, et cetera, et cetera. We don't want that, right? So uh, let me actually exit a couple of screens here. Apologize, y'all. Um, and so uh, on that note, try and be different and be original. And actually on that note, there's something called the Twitter twitterbiogenerator.com. And when you click that, it's twitterbiogenerator.com. When you click that, you'll actually be able to get some great ideas for how you can, you know, create uniqueness and also not making it fake, right? So making it original, being unique, making it stand out, that grabs the reader's attention, right? So don't don't follow the lemmings of the edge of the cliff here, but also try and be unique enough without being, you know, totally weird, right? And again, weird is relative because if you're in entertainment, a weird might be exactly what is expected, right? Number two here, be direct. So you don't have to be, uh, you know, Ellen to write a hilarious bio and you don't have to be Neil deGrasse Tyson, right, to write an inspiring bio. 
but you know you really just want to be very direct in fact uh, if we look at um, my uh, let's see here uh, we're just going straight out to my bio let's see what I wrote um, so I have uh, 13,000 followers here. I help experts, consultants, entrepreneurs sell tickets to events, workshops, seminars with paid uh, uh, Facebook ads and Google. Um, yeah, that could probably be enhanced, right? I should follow my own rules, but uh, it is very direct, right? So it follows kind of that rule, but it's a little bit sort of predictable in the sense that it's not super original, right? So number three here, be witty, but only if you're witty, right? And uh, if you're not seeing this, coming in on the broadcast, on the podcast rather, uh, there's an image here of Jimmy Kimmel, eccentric billionaire Jimmy Kimmel live.com, right? Uh, kind of funny and it's his face on a baby that's just swinging on a, uh, you know, a sheet, a white sheet here. Um, kind of funny. In fact, it's weird and funny, but it works, but it's Jimmy Kim Kimmel, right? So, this is where, like, you see, uh, you know, politicians trying to act cool to resonate with the young voters, you know, uh, trying to use humor in a weird way. It's not authentic. It doesn't fit. You know, this is where you don't want to go that wild. You don't want to go that left or right, whichever you belong to, right? Number four here, don't sell. Now, mine, the example you just saw, was actually trying to sell, right? It's very direct, but... You don't have to be super obvious. You know, the self-promotion comes through your natural evolution of your content and your posts um, that hopefully has a lot of good value. And, you know, the 80-20 rule uh, often belongs into this category of discussion where 20% is your, you know, pitching in your content. 80% is adding good goodwill and value to the marketplace. So, you know, if you are good and you're solid, your products will sell themselves without having to hit them over the head with it, right? Um, and so uh, if you look at bigger companies, obviously they have a brand behind them, a lot of marketing dollars, but companies like LifeLock and Apple, they don't have to say, uh, we sell phones, right? It's a company that changes lives and they happen to be selling phones, right? So there's a difference here. And so you want to tell people why you wake up in the morning and do what you do and they will follow you on Twitter, right? Number five, be genuine. This is obviously a big one here with so much fake news and, you know, insincerity online and also the ability to just almost virtually write anything you want and appear to be more uh, uh, than you actually are. Um, so this one here uh, has to be real. So no fake, right? And this is all about this number five here. And of course, as you stack these one, two, three, four, five up, it's about creating the no like and trust factor because you haven't met, uh, you know, you haven't seen eye to eye, you haven't been shaking hands, et cetera. So you do it all through social media, through content, uh, through videos, uh, through these profiles and establishing your brand position in the marketplace. And it's not easy to trust people that you come across online, of course. So, you know, if you're authentic and real here, you can really express not only your personality, but, but come across as somebody that you truly want to uh, connect with and feel that can add value to your own network. So be genuine and true in your bio, <clears throat> and you will not be one of those hacks out there that's just constantly just whining about their own place in the world and, of course, just trying to fake you out so that you might operate or transact business with them uh, that never turns into anything. So, so this is basically just a quick walkthrough then of uh, how to create a uh, original and unique and different bio on Twitter. But as you can see, if you were to write a sales letter or a sales video or create any of these on LinkedIn or, or YouTube uh, or other places where you are building out profile, it's about being original. It's about being direct. It's about being witty. If you're witty, right? That example that you don't want to sell and position yourself as an in-your-face sort of hardcore a sales uh, driven engine out the gate, right? And number five, be genuine. So I hope this has been helpful. And also a fresh reminder, uh, we deal with clients who not only are struggling with their brand, right? Their brand position, but also the consistency. And I mentioned this a few times, at least once, uh, you wanna be a consistent across these platforms. Um, now we're not gonna dive into the graphics or videos and what types of content, et cetera. But if you just start with the word consistency and that you have uh, uh, essentially a branding 
that speaks to your audience, to that content, uh, uh, you know, to that profile or to those profiles that you're trying to reach and you have consistency, that's a big step in the right direction. And then you start applying these bios that also support that. Uh, that's a really strong um, uh, signal for your audience to transact with you and uh, take the next step. <clears throat> so um, anyway, this is Jan here. If you like what you see here and if you like what you've heard, hey, we welcome you to come on over to chaosmap.com. Take a look, see on what we all do. There's a form actually to fill out here to set up a quick 15 minute appointment if you'd like. No sales pressure or anything. Just happy to help you. And um, we do uh, ads, content, uh, social media uh, work and uh, all of these things that I talk about in these posts is, of course, in our wheelhouse. I uh, love to do these and love putting these together for you and hope you enjoy these uh, coming at you here daily uh, right now. That's a lot going on. So I'm glad I got this out to you today. And please share, like and comment. And if you're on iTunes, hey, subscribe there. And if you could give a quick review as well, an honest uh, review, that is awesome. Totally love it. So thanks again, guys and gals, and we will talk soon. Take it easy now.